All right, so I am going on about almost a week now with the Google Pixel 5a and uh, just want to kind of give a, a brief video comparison and understanding of my current usage with this device. So this is the front facing camera on the Google Pixel 5a. Um, there have been some slight recording issues for a lot of users with the Google Pixel 5a. I myself have experienced it earlier this week. I attempted to record an unboxing video for a new pair of headphones that I got in and it was kind of botched by the fact that I couldn't get over about two minutes of 4K 60. And then immediately going from the 4K 60, I switched over to the 1080p 60 frames per second and that kind of cut out on me. So that kind of was a little irritating. You know, obviously I can't redo a, an unboxing video that's kind of done. But I noticed that after looking at the couple of clips that I did record, I messed up the video. I was saying the wrong product name instead of the um, FD3s, I was saying the FH3s. So I kind of got it confused in my head. I'm still kind of trying to get my timing down with how I kind of want to continue doing my videos. Um, mostly because I've got a call there. I'm going to decline it for now friend of mine's so I'll give him a call back um so yeah because I watched the video it kind of was ruined anyway so I wasn't too mad after I rewatched the clips and I realized I had made mistakes in that video uh, but for a lot of users that could be quite annoying um again this is the front facing camera just kind of giving a quick test here and showing people how that quality can kind of look uh for it's capped at 1080p, 30 frames per second. So, you know, there's not a lot of settings, not a lot of different things that you can do with that, except for hit record and hit play. And as long as the quality looks good, you know, who cares from there? Uh, as far as doing Zoom calls, video calls, uh, conference calls, anything like that, I believe that this device, this device can handle it because looking at the quality here from the viewfinder on the phone, it looks really, really good. I'm I'm liking the quality. I'm liking the quality of the photos, and I'm liking the quality of the video recording. You know, just you just cap that 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, I gave it some thought this week about how I feel about it, and I'm okay with that because I do a lot of my editing on my devices, and most of my editing is downscaled anyway. Okay, so I'm getting a too high. Excuse me. I'm getting the phone's getting too hot. Uh, error message just now. Um, I do have the air conditioning on in my car. It's 60 degrees Fahrenheit, but it was kind of sitting up here at the top of the um, at the top of my dash, and the sun's beating down on it. It's getting pretty hot here in South San Diego, and um, so you know that's something you have to kind of be aware of buying this device it can in fact overheat on you so i'm going to go ahead and freehand it for now um we're getting up to about 90 degrees fahrenheit later today if not now currently i don't know i haven't stepped outside of the car just yet and again it's 60 degrees fahrenheit inside of the vehicle um but recording hasn't stopped just yet it's still going i'm checking <laughs> making sure so um, other than that, man, as long as you have a pretty good environment, you can get fairly good recording with this device, fairly good um, image quality with this device. I have noticed that the software has messed up a couple times on me when it comes to portrait mode. A couple different times, it's um, kind of cropped out some of the background or maybe some of my facial features or part different parts of my shirt where I've had to retake the photo. I'm not sure what that is. Slight glitch, maybe. No problem. I'm very interested to see what they do with the update for Android 12. Looking forward to that. I don't have like a wish list or anything like that, but specifically for this device, if they can fix some of those slight issues, that would be great. Uh, issues with the video recording, uh, slight hiccups that I've had with uh, taking some photos, um, little, little performance issues. Just, you know, keep the device running smooth, keep the device healthy. And I'm comfortable with that, you know, with the A-series, I believe we get three years of updates 
And that's primarily why I bought this device over buying, you know, maybe a previous generation flagship that's around this price or a previous generation uh, Pixel flagship that's around this price. Um, mostly bought this device for the battery life and for the longevity of the device for some of those updates and experiencing some of those updates because my current devices don't get those updates. Uh, I believe my um, Sony Xperia uh, 1 Mark II is tapped out for OS updates. I believe maybe maybe it might get one more. Perhaps it might get one more and then it's tapped out. Um, I get regular security patches, but that's about it. So all in all, this device is good. I'm loving the screen display. I'm using that headphone jack, man. I'm using that headphone jack a lot and I'm loving it. Um, I do see that it does have LDAC support, so that is great. Going into the Pixel 6 and the 6 Pro, that was one of my primary concerns with them having their own chipset was what kind of codecs are they gonna be using in order to support some of those Bluetooth audios. Uh, audios. So LDAC is good enough, man. That's, that's near CD quality for Bluetooth, and that is amazing. That's pretty much all you need. Um, most of the streaming applications today at least support CD quality with majority of its libraries. So no problem there. And we're going on about six minutes here with the recording of the front facing camera. Still looking good. Um, I wish the charging capabilities of this device was a little bit faster. When I wake up early, early in the morning, and that's one of the reasons why my videos haven't been as frequent as it been as it ha as it has been in the past is mostly because my work schedule currently over the last few weeks has been kind of all over the place and i'm trying to adjust to that but i'm going to try to get back on the regular schedule of making videos and you know maybe do some more discussion videos i might have to have some more car videos like this one here um it's not a problem it's relatively cool in my car i actually have ac in my car where other than my my home i don't have any ac so my car might be a great place to do vlogs and a great place to do some recording at least with the Google Pixel 5a. Uh, my previous devices have had some overheating issues also. So it just kind of depends on what I do. Like I said, I do editing on my video on, on my videos on my phones. Uh, I do various recordings on my phones and I'm driving them pretty pretty hard personally. Uh, I'm gonna try to do some editing on this phone and see if maybe I can do some rendering on this device. But like I said, when I do do editing, I kind of downscale it to 1080p 60 anyway. So being capped at 1080p 60 doesn't really bother me too much. Um, again, man, I'm, I'm having a good time with this device. It's working out very well. Uh, one weekend, man, I'm gonna give it a maybe, you know, a full month of it being my daily driver kind of before I uh, have any final deliberations on it. But so far this has been a pretty wonderful experience and I'm having a lot of fun um, more case videos coming um, some updated videos on maybe some screen protectors for this device there are a bunch of different accessories that you can get and maybe some people are maybe looking for some guidance on what might be the best options and uh, I got some videos coming for you guys a little bit later on so thanks again for watching YouTube any questions let me know how the quality is on this the background looks a little bit blown out there looking through the the rear windows uh, but as far as myself I'm coming in pretty clear at least as far as from what I can see let me know leave a comment and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here at about nine minutes so you can get a clear nine minutes of recording at least with the front facing camera as long as it's um, in a relatively cool environment. So that's something to keep in mind. All right, YouTube, peace.